This is Navisworks Jetstream Beginner Training Module Internal Lighting. In the last module, you learned all the basics of Presenter, including textures, backgrounds, and external lighting. Remember how simple adding in the lighting was? Well, internal lighting is very similar, and the only extra step is for you to decide what type of lights you want and where you want to put them. So by the end of this module, you'll have built on the skills you already have so you can light up your whole model quickly and effectively. For internal lights, you generally only need to use two types of lights, spotlights and point lights. You'll be trying both of them out on a dark room inside one of our sample models. So let's just open that model up now. With file, open, and select brewerytexture.nwd from the tutorial sample files. Now the model's open, just switch to the viewpoint called Pump Room Wide View so that you're looking inside the building. Now, imagine a spotlight is like shining a torch on a wall. It has a starting point, the torch, and a target, the wall. The light on the wall is one big circle of light, and the further away from the torch the wall is, the bigger the circle of light is going to be. So now the presenter window. Let's switch to the lighting tab. Now in the recommended library, drag spot into the palette on the right. Now you've got your new spotlight in the palette, so you're going to need to edit it so you can put it in the scene where you want it. Double click on spot in the right hand palette to bring up the edit dialog. For the moment, you're just going to be changing the location to and shadow settings, since that's all you'll need to position the light and have it cast shadows. However, if you want to tweak your settings, you can also play with the color, intensity, and cone angle settings. The first two are pretty much self-explanatory, and the final is used to set how wide the circle of light will be. Remember, Presenter is all about giving you choice, so it's up to you how you want your lighting to look. So now click on the pick button next to location, and the cursor should change into this little crosshair. Click on the ceiling of the room with the crosshair to set the location of the spotlight. Now click on the pick button next to two, and click on the top of the machinery to set the target of the spotlight. Finally, make sure shadows is ticked, and click OK to close down the edit dialog. Now if you press the render button, you can see we've got a bright area of light on the floor with some stark shadows. Spotlights give a pleasing result, and are often useful in recreating effects such as a desk lamp. However, it's more than likely you'll want to use point lights for most of your internal lighting. So we'll look at them now. A point light works very much like a conventional light bulb. Light comes from a specific point and shines out in all directions. To light a normal room, you can typically just attach a point light to the middle of the ceiling. So let's just try that with this sample model. Click on the spotlight in the palette we added earlier and press the delete key to remove it. Now again, from the recommended library, drag point into the palette on the right. Double click on point in the right hand palette to bring up the edit dialog. This time we only have to change the location and the shadow settings. Click on the pick button next to location and click on the ceiling to set the target point of the light. Make sure shadows is ticked once again and click on OK to close this dialog down. Now press the render button. This time the render shows the room fully lit up. And that's all we need to cover on internal lighting. With all you've learned in these first two modules, you should now be able to take any of your models, texture them with our recommended libraries, and effectively light them up inside and out. One tip worth bearing in mind is to get more interesting and natural shadows in a room, try adding in multiple point lights with lower intensity values. For the example image I showed at the start of the module, I used two point lights at either end of the ceiling with intensity values of 0.5 each. If you compare it to the final render we produced with a single point light, you should see it looks a lot more pleasing. <laughs>